Yo, who sent you? Brute strength. They uh, sent me. I don't. I don't know him. Dude. Hey, wait. I don't okay, know. I'm him. supposed. You might have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the crib. is me and Ethan's household called the House of Pain. No, we don't. This is just our living quarters where we try and get our headset and our mindset away from the gym and eat lots of food. The fridge is full always and you know, life is good here. I love this place. It's been my first place on my own. I'll show you the room. This is uh, as close as you can get to a frat boy room as possible. Every wall is full of pictures or something CrossFit or something sporty. And I don't know why I'm still holding the golf club. I don't really make my bed the traditional way. This is uh, just a mattress and I try and keep it clean. I do eat a lot of my food on my mattress too, which is very dormy. Got all the Seattle stuff from hometown. Got some jerseys from the past competitions I've done and then way too many CrossFit clothes, man. So this is kind of the crib. Been, uh, been loving having my own place. It's been really nice and definitely learning a lot about how to be cleaner and how to be a man. And I even got my own bathroom, bro. Could be better. Never have my own bathroom. Me and my brother have basically had to share everything since like birth. Well, he is a month, a year and a half older than me, so like he had a year and a half of freedom until I, I came into this world. And he actually said nah to my mom when I came out, and he literally like was like, no, I don't want to be a brother. I want to be a, a lone kid. And I was like, you're stuck with me, man. You're stuck with me. So yeah, this is the place. Been loving it. I get a lot of chill time in here and do all my homework in there and. Sometimes out here in the kitchen, it's, it's been a good spot. Ethan, how do you like our house? The kitchen's a little small. Yeah. It's kind of hard to do two people, but we, we like, do shifts. Yeah, we do shifts. Like <laughs> Ethan usually eats like right before bed. And it's like funny because it's like connected to the wall. If he's like making food, I'll be like, okay, he's out there making food. I'm not sleeping for another 30 minutes. <laughs> Even if he shuts the microwave, it's like, oh, I hear it and it's loud because it's connected. I, but I'm, I'm trying like, to be quiet. I respect the gains though. Like, yeah, I'm like, dude, that's totally bit. fair. Like he has to get the calories in. It's been a good spot. And Naples is definitely not what I pictured it to be. I'm not one of the old people here, so I guess I don't really fit in, but I'm trying to fit in. Even Kobe behind the camera, he's not old too, so I bet sometimes he feels weird being out here. Definitely different than Seattle. Weather, people, everything. Just the vibe is, is amazing here, so freaking love in Florida. Let's go. Welcome to the day in the life with me, Sprager. We are here at the Brute Gym, new and improved. We got the homies here. We got a fun day of deload, which was unexpected. Matt Torres texted me this morning and said, start your deload with this week. Let's get excited. Time to bring the energy into training. We got a max clean, a max front squat, and a workout that's surely gonna put me on the floor, and then some other fun things. We'll probably go to the store today, do a little crazy store run, ride on some golf carts, go back home, and just show you what a day in the life here is like in Naples, Florida. Have some fun and just enjoy the moment. Well, first uh, matter of business today in uh, the Brute office, we're doing one clean starting at 290, building 10 pounds till we get to 320. Then we're gonna add five pounds till we hit a max. Goal is to get Around 340, This is my goal, I hit a 340, which is a PR. Felt pretty easy too, which is good. On some more tired body right now with the semis. Like the strength has been my focus, while also like trying to get as much cardio as I can without taking away from the strength. So to still be going up and hitting PRs on Friday, which is toward the end of a training week, it's, it's a good thing. We're gonna go do a front squat. We are gonna hit one rep max, see what we can put up. Dallin's got it too, so we're competing with Daddy D today.
after a max clean. So the CNS was a little taxed. Nonetheless, still had a pretty good number, 350. It went up pretty good too, which is as long as it's more than my clean, we're good. So clean 340, front squat 350. Need to work on that squatting, that's for sure. Definitely after the semis, that's gonna be like squat three times a week. Make sure that these legs get strong, grow big tree trunks, and reap the benefits of big tree trunks. Let the sap flow. Sap flow? Sap tree, bro. Out of your legs? Yeah, I guess so. Like sweat, you know, like put them to work. The sweat is the sap in this reference, and we want more of it because we. Yeah, I'm gonna stop now. I'll, I'll hold a plant the tree. Hey, this would be a great transition to start the pain cave of Gretel. Okie dokie. This is a form of Gretel that we are doing programmed by Matt Torres. Gretel is traditionally 10 rounds per time, three clean and jerks, three bar facing burpees, so 30 of each. This version is a little bit different. Same amount of total reps, different way split up. We're doing six rounds of five and five this time. Blow up or show up, or do both. Die trying. I think that that setup was harder than the max setup. Cause moving six times versus moving twice yeah. at the max. So I think that that, like without the movements there, I think I would have had like oh, yeah. a sub 250. Four seconds, three yeah. seconds, two seconds, whatever it was, yeah. two and a half, three seconds. And jumping over every time, yeah. If you were to go uh, set one, round one, and then you were to cut round six in, it would be very difficult to tell. Well, the burpees were actually faster on round six. Yeah, they got faster so five that, and six. Question becomes this, can you burpee faster and maintain the same yeah. clean and jerk? Sure. That right there is gonna be the difference maker. Cool. You know, and it, it's a, we'll, be, we'll be doing stuff like this, like, so you get to practice it. Where it's Good, like, okay. I'm really glad that you make me do this because it makes me more nervous than any other workout. Because yeah. literally, fail one rep, you're done. done. You're done, yeah, it's like, no, no reps. You have to move fast. This kid gives uh, good motivation. He makes sure I'm doing shit right. Shout out, Matt. I like those shorts, by the way, bro. So, accessory without the airwave in because this slurs my words too much. Not a diss against the airwave. Just can't talk. So, three sets. We're doing a 60 second torque tank pull as fast as we can with some weight on. We're doing 12 GHD back extensions as slow as we can. And then a 60 second Chinese plank, which if you've never seen a Chinese plank, they hurt pretty bad if you do them right. Get the core going. Matt Toro has been trying to make me have uh, thick boy abs instead of skinny boy skater abs. Let's see if I got it today. Oh, 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 golden, let's go. Just me trying to think about things because I got that freaking athletic brain where I can perform but sometimes I just can't think shit through and that's why my dad made me take two classes instead of one for this college semester to get this brain back bro We didn't get in a car crash. We're doing good so far. We are going to the store to buy more of these and some greens and more vegetables because they help my tummy feel good and they make me feel like Popeye and Popeye's strong. And today I didn't feel strong enough in the gym, so we need to get stronger. Shopping as like a young person is weird because it's like, oh, shouldn't your mommy be shopping for you? I don't have a mommy here. I am my own mommy. How, how many apples is too many apples? We're going bobbing. Minus the mouth part. I'm pretty sure it's okay to mix mix them together. You don't have to segregate the apples. Okay, so we got the, the watermelons here. If we get enough likes and subscribers, we will do the watermelon challenge where I squeeze it to death with my quads. I got tiny boy quads though, so I don't know if I could successfully do the challenge. Okay, so you saw what I was drinking in the car. This is my favorite section of the store. Peter the Rabbit keeps me fueled for whatever I need in the gym. Hashtag, thank you, Peter. This stuff is the best. Basically, as you can see from my cart, that 
CrossFit is not all about healthy food. It is about quantity of food. So you get in as many cows as you can and uh, try not to throw it up at the end of the day. Eat your meats raw, like the Liver King. Always eat the peel of the banana. Always eat the container of your greens. And the milk, you shouldn't even drink the milk, just eat the carton. It's my advice. Yeah, just the plastic. Save the turtles. This is not my car, but uh, we'll take another ride. Hey, yo, what's up, dude? You wanna uh, help me unload? We made it back inside. We got all the bags. I made it in one load. Slight flex. We're gonna unload, and then we're gonna load back into the car and go to the gym again. I'll show you guys what's on the menu for second session. It's nothing crazy, you might be bored, so might let Mr. Camera here leave early. We'll do our thing, show up tomorrow, do it all again for a couple more weeks, and then we go on the floor. Okay, so we're back here for session two at the Brute Gym. Today has been a great day so far. We're about to hit a nice recovery session with some machines, some stretching, and some core, and just get the body ready for semis training tomorrow. Saturdays, we usually do three to four workouts that are like mock semifinals days. And my semifinals coming up here in less than a month. So I got about four weeks from today until I'm out on the floor in Knoxville competing for my top five spot, the Syndicate Crown. My goal is to be at the CrossFit Games this year. I moved here for that one goal, and every day waking up has been pursuing that purpose. So thank you for following along in the day of the life. Hope you guys enjoyed. Little fitness, little store run, little fun. And hope to see you guys back again soon.